Now we have the part that represents the virtual machine. This is the part that executes Smalltalk code. The gem virtual machine allows the users to create, read, modify persistent objects. This is the thing that takes care of managing the objects for each logged in session. In addition to the gems, we have a stone process. We'll be looking at quite a bit more detail for each of these. The stone process is only one per database. And the stone process is the thing that manages multi-user operations that need to be coordinated. So only one gem is modifying an object at a time. Object locking. We need to be able to lock an object. Only one process, only one session should be able to lock an object at a time that object locking is handled by the stone. Now, this picture shows you kind of many of the components. I'm not expecting you to be able to see it. It's mostly just to give you an idea of the number of parts and their complexity. But here is the stone. Here um, is the repository. Application gems, symbol gems, garbage collection gems, page servers, shared page cache monitor. You can have remote hosts and so on. So each of these has logs, uh, log files associated with each process. Um, has a log file that gets created so you can look at the log file to see if something goes wrong. On disk, we have a variety of things. We've mentioned the extents. Again, the repository is kind of a logical concept of a number of extents. The extents are the actual things that are on disk. You also, of course, have backup files. So we make a backup of the database. Well, that exists on disk. Transaction logs. Again, it's a real database. Each time you commit a transaction, before the commit finishes, we've written a record of that transaction to a transaction log file. And with that transaction log file, we now have something that we can replay to get the database back if it crashes. Then there's log files for, that are text files that simply describe what's happening in the system. So again, we can read the log files if there's a problem we want to investigate. Lock files for processes, not for actual objects, but process lock files. That's examples of things that are on disk. Things that are in memory, we have shared RAM. As we mentioned, we read objects from disk in 16K pages. Rather than each virtual machine having to read it for itself, they can be read into a shared space in memory, and that shared space will be visible to each of the virtual machines. So each virtual machine can look into the shared memory and see the objects that are there. That way we can have multiple virtual machines sharing a large chunk of memory. Caching, we can get lots of objects in memory without taking up space in each virtual machine primarily holds pages read from the repository, but it also holds cache statistics. So each process that's running on a machine will have access to this shared memory and will write information about itself into shared memory. And other processes can then go look at that shared memory and learn things about each of the processes that's running. So statistics then there's a special process that we have that simply reads all the statistics, continually writes them out to a file, or every periodically it writes them out to a file. That way, if you want to do tuning, you can go back and say, how was the system behaving? What was happening? Or if the system crashes, you can determine what it was doing. Individual operating system processes. And here's a list of them. We'll be going into some detail on some of them. But uh, this is just to give you an idea of the complexity of the system. There's a process called NetLDI that provides network 
communication between hosts coordinates communication between hosts. The application gems, those are the virtual machines that run your small talk code. Reclaim garbage collection. Get space, you can have multiple of those. AIO page servers, you can have processes that are simply looking at the shared page cache for dirty pages and writing them out to the extent. That way if the space in the cache is needed, we won't have to take time to write them because they'll already have been written. But if someone needs them, they'll still be in memory. So that's a performance. Shared page cache monitor, someone who simply watches the statistics and captures them. I'm sorry, the watches the shared page cache, makes sure it's up and running, makes sure usage is coordinated of, the, of it. The stone itself, symbol gem, again, in small talk, symbols are strings that are unique, canonical. All symbols that have the same characters point to one object. And that works reasonably well in traditional small talks where there's only one virtual machine. In Gemstone, we need to coordinate the creation of symbols because two sessions might want a new symbol at the same time. So all new symbols are created by a symbol gem. Administrative, garbage, administrative GC gem handles part of the garbage collection process. Free frame page servers scan the page cache looking for free space. Page managers, page servers for remote gems, again coordinate copying information to and from the cache. 